Yes. Yes. Yes, everybody. And the wasted word of today is tardy, everybody. Welcome to another Red Nation Unlimited. I'm in my wasted talent. Little under the weather. But we will get through this show, everybody. Shout out and salutation to everybody in here. Get wasted with your brother wasted. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Pay your bar tabs as usual. I mean, my God, it's 300 of you in here already, man. I mean, I can't believe it. Man, let me get my shout outs and salutations before we get to rocking and rolling in here. My guy, Tag Zohan. My brother, Chris Fo Raiders, man. Dan, high stakes teaser to get off by Long Gang General is in a place, man. Yvette Niles, yes. Say, Uncle Hondo took everybody to chokes. The church yesterday, baddest pod ever. Yes, man. It was a splendiferous occasion last night. Shout out to Hondo Carpenter, man. Shout out to the great and powerful Hondo, man. And happy birthday to Hondo, too. Raider Ryan is in the place. Leaky, what is the deal? Sim T. I mean, everybody's in the place. My guy, Chris Raiders, man, said we need another Hondo sermon. Oh, my God. Yes, we do need it. Man. Tell me that wasn't phenomenal last night, everybody. Tell me that was not freaking phenomenal, man. Woo! What a great damn show last night, man. If I do say so myself, man. Yo, man. Look, today, everybody's still talking about it. We, look, I'm going to let it marinate a little bit, y'all. I'm going to let it marinate. Listen, but I, I am even in awe of what happened last night. Man, it was fire. Man, it was fire. Yeah, yesterday's show, 10 out of 10. Listen, let me tell y'all something, man. I knew that that show was going to go off like that, man. Hondo is um a guy who is an honest guy. He's a good man. You know what I mean? And, and, and yo, he knows what the hell he's talking about, man. For those of you who don't know, you know now. Go and go check that show out last night on, on Oak Las Vegas Network on Grab's channel. I'm going to put some clips of it up. Man, let me tell y'all something. I know some of the people, y'all want to know who I think the player he was talking about is. I know y'all want to know, man. My guy Farrell, Pharrell 55. So I feel like Jalen Ramsey was the player he was talking about that we could potentially trade for. Now, look, I'm going to tell you something. It's not Jalen Ramsey. Now, a lot of people think that it's Jalen Ramsey. I don't think so. I mean, Jalen Ramsey just restructured his deal today. You know, the Dolphins are in salary cap hell. So I know that's why a lot of people thought it was Jalen Ramsey, right? But it's not Jalen Ramsey. And I'm going to be for real with y'all. I'm going to be for real with y'all. I, I personally think who he's talking about is Jair Alexander. That's who came to mind to me. I think he's talking about Jair Alexander, yo. I really, really do, y'all. That's right, Rorschach Raider. Yes. Coffee is up. Wasted is up. It is time to get it rocking. Now, listen, y'all. There's a lot going on today, man. There's a lot going on today. Yes. Yes, there's a lot going on today. We got some new members of the Wasted Talent Army before we get rocking and rolling. My guy, Shalib. Just became a member of the Wasted Talent Army. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Maniac is a new member of the, the Livest Chat and Radio YouTube. Shout out to you, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank y'all. Thank all of the new members of the channel. Wait, hold on. My God, Maniac, another membership, man. Thank you. Yvette Niles, the Fly and Wonderful. Thank you to the Fly and Wonderful Yvette Niles for the 499 Super Sticker, man. But yeah, listen, I'm going, I'm going to be honest with you, y'all. I think it's Jai Alexander, y'all. I think Jai Alexander is a guy who the Packers have to make a decision on. The Packers are trying to, you know, make some, some cap space. They, they're getting rid of contracts. They're unloading people. At first, I thought it was, and I'm not going to lie, at first, I thought it was Jalen Ramsey because, you know, I saw Jalen Ramsey all excited about Christian Wilkins being on the Raiders. Jalen Ramsey wanted to come to the Raiders. Uh, he's very active. He pays attention to what goes on with us. But when when Jalen Ramsey got his deal restructured, I, I don't think it's him. 
and I really think it's Jai Alexander, y'all. Telling you. So y'all, listen, man. Let's get started. I know y'all talking, and y'all see what happened today. Amik Robinson, man, is 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 out of here. Amik Robinson has signed with the Detroit Lions, man. Um, you know, happy trails, Amik. Amik Robinson was a dog. You know what I'm saying? Love Amik, man. You know, but he went out there for greener pastures. He got what he needed, man. He got more money. You know, a lot of Raider Nation, you know, disrespected Amik. Amik was always game. You know, he was always a guy who, you know, you you can count on, man. He balled out. You know what I mean? And he's he will be missed, man. He will be missed. And there's a lot of people who don't like Amik. I I for one, I liked Amik. Amik was all Raider, man. Real shit. He was all he's all Raider. And I and I'm gonna miss Amik Robinson, man. I really am. I'm gonna miss his presence in our locker room. And, I, and I'm hoping that the Raiders go out there and make a move at corner because let me tell you something. We we'll just walked out of the building. That it was, yo, Amik Robinson walking out of the building was big for this defense, man. He brought a lot of attitude, a lot of swagger, and a lot of production, man. <clears throat> Listen, if, if, and I'm going to be real with you. And if, and if Amik Robinson was 6'1, he'd probably be a freaking all pro, man. He'd be a freaking all pro, man. Raiders Knicks 24. So I was thinking about Fields. I can only think of two teams left that could possibly scoop him up. The Broncos or the Giants. Who else? Let me know. Maybe we still get him. Listen, if you don't know, you know now. Justin Fields is still in play. Just because we went out there and, and got Uncle Rico does not mean that Justin Fields is in play. Justin Fields is definitely in play right now. Thing about it is, the Chicago Bears know that they're sitting on a, a personnel landmine. They're not going to get what they probably should have gotten because they didn't move in a timely enough fashion. And now the Chicago Bears are sitting on a, 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 like a situation where the, the game of musical chairs is down to two chairs now. Right now, the Minnesota Vikings are a team maybe that could be interested but I don't know because the Minnesota Vikings are in Justin Fields' division. You know what I'm saying? And do the Chicago Bears want to do that? Would they like to do that, right? The Denver Broncos. Um, if Sean Payton was not happy about the accuracy of a Russell Wilson and he requires precision, you're throwing a football. Excuse me, y'all. Pardon me. I'm yawning. I don't think that Sean Payton and the Denver Broncos are, are going to make that move for Justin Fields. Um, I don't see it happening. I don't see the New York Giants making that move either. I mean, the New York Giants essentially have Justin Fields and Daniel Jones, a talented mobile quarterback that hasn't quite lived up to the billing. I don't see that being the case, man. I think when Atlanta went and signed Kirk Cousins, that killed his market. And now the Chicago Bears are stuck. They're really stuck because if the Raiders have made their mind up that they're going to take their chances in drafting a prospect, then they're screwed because there's not too many teams out there that are going to go and make a move for Justin Fields. There's not too many teams out there because of the fact that even though he's a young man, he's a guy who was on the last year of his rookie deal, and eventually you're going to have to pay him. You're going to have to pay him, and a lot of people are not in favor of having an athlete that is masquerading as a quarterback. I'm telling you right now, man. But listen, let's stay on topic. Let's talk about Amik Robinson, man. Let's talk about some of the 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 people that we could possibly sign and or draft to replace Amik Robinson. Because let me tell you something: the Raiders are gonna have to go out there and they're gonna have to fill that cornerback room. Man. So cornerback is a position of need. Now, the cornerback is in play. Now, could kool McKinstry be the 13th pick? Could the Raiders possibly, you know, if, if, if say, first they were to bring in a Justin Field, they, then it wouldn't be as likely that the Raiders were going to go out there and make a move if they were to bring in a Justin Fields. It's not as likely they make a move and draft a quarterback this year. Because then they'd effectively have three quarterbacks on their roster, two that they brought in in free agency. So it wouldn't look to me that that would be something they would do. So then 
you could see the Raiders doing that, drafting a corner early, possibly drafting a lineman. Early. There's a lot of different ways the Raiders can go, man. And that's one of the things that I love about what's happening this offseason. The possible, nobody knows what the Raiders are going to do. And the Raiders aren't in a situation where they don't have options. At, even with the quarterback situation, they ha- they've left themselves the latitude to have options. And I love it, man. My God. Torp Lewis. If you're the Bears, just keep Fields as a great backup for the last year of his rookie deal. Does it make sense to deal them if they're not going to pay their price? I mean, yeah, no. I mean, the Bears do have a lot of cap room, right? But at the end of the day, keep them for what? So would you keep them for a year to be the backup, to have a quarterback controversy, right, to have a situation where Caleb Williams is not going into this knowing that the the organization is totally behind him? Because like, that's what you need as a quarterback, right? And you have a guy that you know you're not going to resign because you can't. You would probably want to move on from him now. And at least I would rather get something from him than nothing. Why hoard a person and not get anything from him? Because that's what's going to happen next year. Yeah, we got over 910 people in the room. Get wasted with your brother. Wasted. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Share this thing out on all social media. Share this thing out on Twitter. Shout out to everybody on Twitter. Y'all wanted to ask y'all, do y'all want me to start going live from Instagram Live? In, uh, you know, Do I have any followers out there who want to see this on the gram? Y'all let me know, man. Louis Ante, the noise is field market is going down. Fourth slash fifth round pick. That team's not grabbing him because maybe he's not him or buying time, potentially a draft decision move. And that's that's factual. That is factual. I mean, if 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 you're the Raiders, right, and, and you have an Aiden O'Connell, and now you went out and you got a Gardner Minshew. As you can see on the thumbnail, the Raiders did sign a Gardner Minshew yesterday. We talked about this yesterday. But the Raiders are in prime position to do what the hell they feel and do what they want they don't really necessarily have to make a move on anything or anybody and i love it man i love it man i mean the only thing the raiders got to do right now that i can definitely see is they're gonna have to refill that that damn corner room because like with a meek robertson leaving and signing with the detroit lions he signs a two-year 9.25 million dollar deal that's worth up to $10 $10 million with incentives per source. You know, Robertson appeared in 52 games, man. He had 21 starts with the Raiders, man. And, you know, he could play a slot. He's a, he's a significant, significant DB addition, man, after that Carlton Davis trade for the Detroit Lions. So shout out to me, Robertson, man. He didn't get enough respect here. And, you know, I'm, I'm very, very happy for him, man. Very happy for me, Robertson, man. But it's just insane to me getting back to this Justin Fields thing. You know, I heard rumors yesterday that the Bears are behind the scenes making, you know, making, you know, making noise. The Bears and the Raiders were, were trying to come together on a deal and it hasn't happened yet. And, you know, I, I'm just surprised. I'm surprised the Minnesota Vikings aren't in on this Justin Fields thing. I, I'm very, very, very surprised, man. You know, there's rumors that, you know, um, Justin Jefferson is a big fan of Justin Fields, man. I, I just, man, look, man, I, I'm thinking, man, the longer this thing goes on, man, I'm thinking Justin Fields either winds up with us or possibly winds up somewhere that you weren't even expecting. Winds up somewhere that does have a quarterback, possibly as a backup, i.e. the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll tell you, stranger things have happened, yo. Stranger things happen, man. Yawning waste is something you got to deal with. The F out of here, Graf. The F out of here. F and Graf in here. I'm trying to piss in my Cheerios. You get the F out of here, Graphic, but you get unceremoniously blocked. God damn it. Of course I'm yawning. <laughs> nah, but my guy Swift Raider said Meek was always a very good addition. He stepped in when needed. He also owned up to his mistakes. 
and would turn interceptions into big plays. He will be missed. Congrats on his back. Yeah, that's a fact, yo. That is an effing fact, man. That is an effing fact. I mean, Graf, what the F is going on here? <laughs> now, shout out to my bro, Graf, man. Harry from Michigan, you were about to be unceremoniously blocked. The F out of here. Yeah, my guy, Kenny Mack. Trade for Fields. Have a QB battle for hierarchy. Prioritize the O-line via the draft. Build a bully on defense. Go all in for QB next year if needed. Look, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I, I, I'm, I'm torn with this Justin Fields thing. I really am, yo. Now, there are a lot of people that are saying that is imminent and that we are the number one team in the driver's seat for Justin Fields. And listen, Justin Fields is a splashy pickup, man. He is a splashy, splashy pickup. The problem with Justin Fields for me is the 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 having a guy like Justin Fields might get you to the playoffs. But Justin Fields has so much work to do as a passer that I, I really, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Throwing the football is the way. Being mobile is one thing, but throwing the football is the way, man. That is the way. You don't go and beat Patrick Mahomes having a running quarterback. You don't. I mean, look, look, at, look at the Baltimore Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens only get so far because of the fact that Lamar Jackson has not developed to the level he probably needs to as a passer. And Lamar Jackson has been a two-time league MVP. He is phenomenal. Phenomenal player. But when the money's on the table and the playoffs are going, you need a quarterback that can throw that ball, man. You need a quarterback that can throw that ball. And with Justin Fields, man, I'm going I'm to be honest with you, man. Last year, you know, 2,500 yards. 197 yards per game, 16 touchdowns, QB rated at 86.3. That To me, that's not – and I know he's a young player, but that is not going to get it done. That doesn't excite me. That doesn't excite me. I'm going to be 100% real. It does not excite me, man. You sack freaking – damn, man. Sack, what, 44 times. Woo! He had nine picks. 16 in um, 16 touchdowns, 197 yard rating. The year before that, he had 2,200 yards, 17 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. The rookie year, he had seven touchdowns, 10 picks. Now, see, the thing about Justin Fields, what makes him so dynamic, is the rushing aspect of his game. Now, last year, he didn't do what he did the year before. 2022, he rushed for 1,000 yards, man. Had 76 yards per game rushing average. Eight touchdowns on the ground. Last year, 657 yards on the ground. He had four touchdowns rushing. So, look, man, I mean, it sounds good. Everybody sees those rushing numbers, them gaudy rushing numbers. But to me, that's not something that I want. I don't want a quarterback who's a sitting duck. I don't want a quarterback who is a running back, especially with the kind of receivers that we have. I want somebody as a thrower of the football, man. And it's looking more and more likely, man, that <coughs> Aiden O'Connell. Aiden O'Connell is going to be the starter, man. It is looking like that. Ken Crush, you're right. It says, yap, yap, yap. Aiden, he says Adrian O'Connell, even though his name is Aiden. Get the F out of here with that, Ken Crush. But Aiden O'Connell is our starting quarterback next year, and he's going to kick booty. What are you, five years old? Get the F out of here, Ken Crush. <laughs> He's not playing, man. All right, man. Let me get to some of these supers, man. Shout out to everybody in the room. We got over a thousand people in the room, yo. Get wasted with your brother. You almost eleven hundred people in the room. Get wasted with your brother. Wasted. My guy, Kenny Mack. Trey for Fields. Have oh, I read this one? Can you bad for the hierarchy? Go read it again. Prioritize the O line. Build a bully on defense. Go all in for the quarterback. Read this one again. Read it again. My guy, Brian Rodriguez. It sounds that Bo Nix did very well on his pro day today. AP and Getsy. We're there. We're there. Look, man, you got it. You got it. Hey, leave no stone unturned. Leave no stone unturned. You know, look, if I'm being honest, Bo Nix is a guy that I have respect for. I don't, you know, I'm not a huge Bo Nix guy. 
I would rather get a J.J. McCarthy. I would rather get a Michael Penix Jr., if I'm being honest. But if we do wind up with him, I'm going to support him. I'm going to support him. I, I think Bo Nix has had, you know, a resurgence in college. You know, a lot of people like to go back to those years when Bo Nix was in the SEC, when he was at Auburn. But that was a totally different situation. He wasn't in the right situation for him. He has developed as a passer. And one thing about Bo Nix that I do like about his game is that he is mobile. And that he is a great intermediate passer. Great intermediate passer. I'm telling y'all right now. Great, great. My guy, Rudy the Vet Russo, man. Shout out to Wasted for being a realest YouTuber. Wilkins moves was epic. Can't wait to watch this D. Pause. Pause, Rudy. Rudy, you know you my guy. Come on, Rudy. It's filthy work out here, man. What's going on? <laughs> Raider history with the QB carousel seems to be repeating. I hate this. Now, Rudy, I, I get it, man. Look, man, sometimes you got to take a step back to take a step forward. I know a lot of people because Rudy's a car guy. I talked to Rudy in person. He's a car guy. Rudy, this is the, the, the path that we need to go to to build this team. You can't have a guy making that kind of money and really build up a roster. I'm okay with it, bro. I'm okay with us trying to locate the guy. I'm okay with us maybe taking a flyer on a Spencer Rattle. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm 100% fine with that, bro. And I don't mean to get in the, you know, the car wars over here, but for real, man. Stick them, Raiders 76. Why did we sign Gardner Minshew at all, especially for $25 million? It's a joke. Now, Rob Porter, you are looking at this in the wrong prison, bro. Gardner Minshew is a great guy to come in here. Let's say, for instance, you know, the Raiders are going to go forward with this Aiden O'Connell experience. Say, for instance, the Raiders are like, you know what? We like Aiden. We're not 100% sure on him. But we're going to go full bore with this Aiden O'Connell thing, but we want somebody to come in here to challenge him for that job. Somebody that we can cart out there who can actually craft together a season starting. There's none better than Gardner Minshew that was available. You know, Russell Wilson would have been a guy you might have wanted to go with. But then again, Russell Wilson took a meeting with the Steelers and the Giants first. And I think he prioritized what the Steelers got going on over what we got going on. And it's cool. Maybe the Raiders weren't interested at all. And, and, that, and, that's, and that's another piece of it. Gardner Minshew making $25 million is next to nothing for a quarterback. A guy who has started in this league who's a veteran in this league. You know, quarterback money is, is 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 huge, man. Quarterback money in this league is huge, man. That's the you know when you look at what some of these other guys are getting paid. Gardner Minshew is not getting paid a whole lot. <coughs> so Minshew signed the two year deal for twenty five million dollars. That includes fifteen million fully guaranteed, man. So guys, listen, man. That 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 right there is not big money, man. It's not big money. I know you guys are looking at it like this, but you can't pay somebody a half-eaten sandwich to play quarterback in the NFL. You can't. You can't. Another guy that I thought Honda was talking about, too, was Marshawn Lattimore as well. This is another team, the Saints, who are in salary cap hell. So keep an eye out for that one, bro. My guy, Sweet Jazz. Wasted and Graph, thanks for providing the space for us crazy fans to meet. Last night podcast with Hondo was the best yet. Yo, shout out to all of y'all for showing up or pulling up. Make sure y'all go over to my bro Graph channel, Oak Las Vegas Network, bro, and go back and watch that pod, man. Man, I, I'm, I yo, listen, I don't normally, you know, speak about, you know, the, the, the podcast that we do and the things that we do. Last night was an epic podcast, if I do say so myself, to the point where when I leave and I get off the air, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to go to the track, go run a little bit, you know, because I, you know, I'm getting a little thick framed. I got to get myself back in order here. I, I've been slacking on my Mac and in the gym. Uh, took some Apex today. I, I got some energy. I'm ready to rock and roll. But I'm going to listen to that whole pod again. I, I never go back and listen to our old episodes, but I will today. Shout out to the almost 1,200 people in the room. Get wasted with your brother. Wasted. Tell a friend to tell a friend. My guy, Raider C. Shout out to Raider C, man. Always in a place to be. The Raiders free agent needs 
need to wake up like Wasted needs to wake up. That F, get off my lawn, gang. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. My guy, Jay Hill. Stephon Gilmore is a real pro slash leader. Two-year deal. Look, if he's out there late in free agency, I'd have no problem with that. I just don't want to pay him a lot of money because he's a little long in the tooth. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to have that situation that we've always had with the Raiders where somebody comes here and gets old overnight on us. Stephon Gilmore has been playing to the back of his baseball card, so to speak. Stephon Gilmore has been playing pretty, pretty well. And he's getting long in the tooth. But, man, I don't want him to come here and fall off the cliff. My guy, Lloyd Buddy Bear, do you think Tyree Wilson could take that next step? And if so, how good would his D-line be? Yes, Lloyd Buddy Bear. I know Tyree Wilson can take that next step. And I was a guy who was not really high on Tyree Wilson. But Tyree Wilson is going to be in a situation where he's probably never going to see a double team now with Christian Wilkins. And whether he develops as an as an outside pass rusher or kind of that, that three technique, kind of play that Justin Tuck kind of role for this defense, he is the least of your worries. If Max is healthy, Koontz is healthy, Chris Wilkins is healthy, bro, and you have him there, the guy you're worried about the least is that monster Tyree Wilson. And he started to pick it up at the end of the year because you have a healthy Tyree Wilson with a full training camp, which is a scary, scary proposition, y'all. <clears throat> Shout out to the chat, man. My guy Ivan Underwood. I definitely agree with you, Wasted. It's good to be a mobile QB. Oh, see, we're going back on the QB thing. I'm sorry, bro, but I just saw it's a great comment. Definitely agree with you, Wasted. It's good to be a mobile as a QB, but you have to be able to drop back and pass and make the throws, man. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, man. But let me get back to it, man. Tyree is going to be the Hulk this season. So let me ask you guys something, man. For me, man. I like the Minshew move. I like it. Now, I think a lot of you guys are looking for us to go out there. You know, at first I was kind of like, eh, because I was I was hoping it was Justin Fields, hoping we made a big splash. It was the first day of, of, of free agency. But you guys got to realize something. This is a marathon, not a sprint. You know, there are a lot of teams. There are a lot of big fish out there. Uh, one of them that just went off the board is Daniel Hunter, man. Daniel Hunter's just signed with the Texans, man. So he's out of there. So he's out of there, man. Daniel Hunter is off the board, man. Off the board. My guy, Keith England. Bro, some of these fans act like scoring women. We have, we have to get a quarterback like Minshew. We got to build up our QB room. He was good enough to beat us. And that's a fact, bro. That's a fact. He was good enough to beat us. He was good enough to beat us. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Wasted. Minshew is only guaranteed 15 mil. His cap hit is 8 million a year. The Raiders can walk away from the contract at the end of the year. It's a good contract. And yo, Victor, this is what I'm talking about. They're paying this guy peanuts and everybody's freaking out like we backed up the Brinks truck for Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew is a guy that you, listen, whether he wins the job or whether he doesn't, that is a guy that you need. That's a guy that you know can step right in and win games for you. And, and, and it's the thing. There's more and more cap space coming. There's more cap space coming, man. I'm going to be real with you, man. The Raiders are in really good shape, man. Especially, you know, if they decide in their infinite wisdom to move on from Hunter Renfro. But they're definitely going to move on from Jimmy G. So, look, if they move on from Jimmy G, man. And I got to pull up these figures right here, man. They can save about $20 million. Just from moving on from Renfro and Jimmy Garoppolo, man. $20 million. So, that, so if they cut some players, they can get their cap back up to around $50 million. The Raiders are playing with house money right now. My guy, Arizona Tim, man. Shout out to you, man, for the $10 holler. He said, hey, graphic. I mean all the talent. LOL. Please tell me. Minshew is not start, starting QB. Please, if there's a football guy, don't let that happen. Penix all the way. Arizona Tim, I'm, I'm praying that they go out there and draft somebody, right? I'm praying. But I'm going to be real with you. 
there's more of a likelihood that Aiden O'Connell, that this move means that Aiden O'Connell is going to start than Gardner Minshew. Even if they don't draft anybody, right? There's more of an indication that it'll be somebody that they bring in, a rookie, or Aiden O'Connell before Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew is a, kind of like a, a a safety blanket, I think. He's he, he is a life he's a life vest more so than anything. But if you have Gardner Minshew starting, that means that you have a guy that you know has been a starter and has some success in his league. He's tough as nails. He's not a bad quarterback. Is he a superstar? By no means is he. Yvette Niles became a YouTube member. The fly and wonderful Yvette Niles. Thank you for supporting the channel, Yvette. Appreciate you. Very, I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you for supporting the channel. Getty Strain. Ready to run it back with Aiden. With less pressure on his shoulder. Now look, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Aiden O'Connell... Look, man, Aiden O'Connell having a full camp, Aiden O'Connell knowing the offense, Aiden O'Connell getting the first team reps. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what gains he's made in the offseason. Has he gotten a throwing coach? Has he gotten in better shape? You know, has he developed his mobility a little bit? It is what it is. I mean, but guys, you can't just start shitting on everything the Raiders are doing right now. Let's let everything play out, man. Listen, the, the offseason is, is a marathon. It's not a sprint. We don't have to run down the hill and get everybody right now. Let this thing develop, man. I'm ready for it. Yes, we do. I told you, the Raiders, if they cut Jimmy Garoppolo and Hunter Renfro, they get pro possibly another $20 million in cap space. It's unbelievable. My guy, Alpha Omega. C. Wood just answered a question of mine about more Worcester whiskey available out here in Texas. Go and get it more readily available. Shout out to Charles Woodson and Woodson Whiskey, man. Shout out to Jay and all of them. Shout out to them, man. My guy, G8 Patriot. Without me, Daniels controlling bad advice. Expect Aiden O'Connell's game to look more like he did in Purdue. Now, Aiden O'Connell, when he was in Purdue, played the air raid offense. You know, after he left, uh, they still were running the, the air raid with um, Graham Harrell, one of the originators in that offense. Graham Harrell was the quarterback at Texas Tech back when Crabtree was there. So I love it, man. My guy, Alpocalypse, wasted. Hondo dropped a hint on a superstar we might trade for. If you know who it is on a scale of 1 to 10, what impact would said player be on our team? I think I'm going to put it to you like this. The player that I think Hondo's going to trade for, I think it'd be a, a, a seismic impact on his roster. A eight. Waste of using the Cubs analogy. Hey, Pop, let's run down there and hit one of them cows. No, let's walk down there and hit them all. <laughs> you stupid, man. My guy, Vincent, we need to trust the guy. We want it. AP, he's listening to the grades. He's balanced with Tom to build a balanced D. That's a fact, bro. I'm trusting him, bro. I am trusting him, bro. Trusting him, bro. I definitely am, man. Nah, Joshy B, the, the Chandler Jones money is probably not coming back to the Raiders, bro. You know the league ain't going to do us no favors, man. That money is not coming back. My guy, Crypto, what it is, man? Crypto, what's the deal, bro? Shout out to you, man. Wasted. Keep a lookout for Tony Batuanai. He's a good run blocker like Panay Sewell. Him and Fuaga would solidify Olam big time. Would be a dream come true. Leaky, I know that's the oos. Thank you for putting me up on it, bro. I'm going to take a look at him, man. And, bro, I'm getting to the point of you know what are we going to do with his line because everything we do going forward is predicated in the trenches man guys please stop saying aoc is the guy did you watch the same games i watched it's not a scrambler he's slow 
can't move. Go back and watch some of those games. Lex and Pat, listen, bro. Nobody is saying that AOC is definitely the guy. But what we're saying is he's a young guy who has grit. The locker room is behind him. He's a guy that can move if need be. He was kind of told not to in the McDaniels offense. He's just a young – he's a rookie, man. Let's give him a chance to develop. Let's get a guy a chance to develop. Like, look, do I want us to go and draft a more physically talented quarterback? Yeah, right. But if Aiden O'Connell goes into camp and clearly beats out Gardner Minshew, then that lets me know that he's a starter in this league. And and we can work from there. I have no problem with Aiden O'Connell being here and starting. If he can go beat somebody out. What I didn't want was I didn't want the Raiders – to just go with tunnel vision and not try to improve this position in a real way and just close their eyes and go like this and just allow Aiden O'Connell to get this job. Do I do, do I want them to put him in the driver's seat for the job? Yeah. But I don't want them to just turn a blind eye and allow him to just have his damn job. My guy, Rob Porter, thank you for the $10 holler, bro. Wasted. I do like AOC. And what he was able to do last year. But he's a statue in the pocket. Do you really believe in your heart he is a playoff QB? Yeah, I, you know what to think about Aiden O'Connell that I do like, man? Him being a statue, to me, is not as big of a problem as him being inaccurate. He's not inaccurate, right? Him not having an arm would be more of a problem to me. He has an arm. Him having happy feet in the pocket. That would be more of a problem to me. Aiden O'Connell is a big, tough, strong kid who stands in that pocket and delivers the football. And as long as he has more of an understanding of what's going on, you know, with, you know, reading defenses and things like that, Aiden O'Connell could be deadly. You know, quarterbacks in this league need to be able to process fast and deliver the football and throw to places where their teammates could get the football and the defenders can't. And if he can develop that skill in real time, I got no problem with it. I got no problem with with, with pouring in to a guy like Aiden O'Connell. I really don't. I really, really don't. Now, guys, listen, there's a guy, there's rumors that there's a guy in the building. And I want to know what you guys think about this. <laughs> we all wanted when Cleveland Farrell was drafted. We all wanted the Raiders to take Devin White. We all wanted that. I know I did. I love Devin White coming out of LSU. There are rumors that the Raiders are working on bringing him in, man. I mean, for, yo, from a scale of 1 to 10, man, how many of you guys would be excited if we brought him in, man? I mean, how freaking excited would you be? Damn, I have an impersonation account in here, the Wasted Equinox. <laughs> He said, at least miss you not going to be hesitant to air that mother effing football out of Jimmy J. Yeah, yeah, Gardner Minshew lets that thing fly. And plus, Gardner Minshew's in a situation where he's not, like, injured like Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo was 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 pretty much injured, man. You know what I'm saying? He was damaged goods from the word go. Injured from the word go. Damn, 10, 10, 10. Now, see, this is the thing with Devin White, man. I don't think Devin White is that good. Like, for us, Devin White is a liability in pass coverage. I would like to see Devin White be brought in as, like, more of like a wheel linebacker, man. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay, Poppy, you need to give her up on that crew, son. What? What you mean? What you talking about? What crew? Yeah, I'm not understanding that, event. What? What? What I need to give up on? <laughs> Let me see something. Yo, my guy Bradley, man. If someone could coach up AOC to move around the pocket and not be a statue to hold the ball too long, we will be set at QB. And, like, these are things. See, see this is the problem, bro. I think. What winds up happening with people, bro, is that nobody wants to develop players anymore. You you, you got to develop players, man. You got to let these young guys develop, man. Everybody's not going to come in the, into the league and just explode onto the scene like a C.J. Stroud. Everyone's not going to do that. 
Everyone's not going to do that, guys. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? I, look, I have no problem with letting Aiden develop. But the way I want him to develop is I want him to be developed with competition. I just don't want him to be anointed. And I know I keep repeating myself. I'm going to say that to the cows come home, man. Now, let's get back with this, with, with this Devin White thing. I mean, are you guys psyched about bringing in the Devin White if the Raiders decide to? 100 in for Devin White. Listen, bro, I think Clint Westwood is right. Devin White's name is bigger than this game right now. I look, man, Devin White cannot cover at this point, man. He can't cover at this point. Now, I don't know if, you know, Patrick Graham, who's a guy who, I'm going to be honest with you, I think Patrick Graham is a guy that can get the best out of Devin White. But who knows how much the Raiders will be bringing him in for? And that's the question, man. That's the question. My guy T. Severe is in a place to be. Shout out to T. Severe, man. Devin White is one of the most overrated players in the league. Damn, T. Severe with the haymaker, yo. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a effing minute. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> yo, my guy Graf is in a place to be, man. 11K. Congrats, brother. Wait a minute. Yo, wait, we have an announcement on Raider Nation Unlimited today. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the effing phone, everybody. Let me look at this here. It says here that your man wasted. <clears throat> it's over 11,000 subscribers. Thank you, everybody who subscribed to the channel, man. Thank you to everybody out there who has supported my channel, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all so much, man. 11,000. Couldn't have done it without every single one of y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you so much. And this is my 500th video, too. So 11,000 subscribe, uh, subscribers, 500 video. We hit a few milestones, everybody. Yo, thank y'all for all y'all support. We got almost 1,400 people in the room, man. <laughs> Dear works with your brother wasted. Dad Grab is trying to go. He's coming. He's, yo, he's coming for the jugular vein, bro. The F out of here, Graf. God! Wow! Man, it's throwing me under the bus. <clears throat> under the bus, he's throwing me. The F is wrong with you. Let's <laughs> say thank y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, though, man. Appreciate y'all, man. But let's get back to Aiden O'Connell, man. My guy, Shalee. Y'all got to get A ALC some credit, man. Max sacked him, what, six times in one game. And we damn near ended up winning that one, man. We know what happened that second game. Laughing my ass off. Yeah. Now, look, man. A lot of that happened because they had a terrible, terrible backup there, bro. And that's one thing we don't got to worry about. That is one thing we don't have to worry about, man. Shout out to my guy, Martin, for way across the pond, man. This man said, I am going to effing celebrate 11K with an F. Crap, get the F out of here with that. Got he grew, man. AOC looks like blue face baby mama. <laughs> yo, stop it, yo. Not blue face baby mom. Yo, y'all a wildin', man. That's right, my guy Crypto to 11K and running. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. Can't tell Raiders. Spillane was considered a liability in coverage before PG got him. Maybe we could do the same thing for Devin White. Now, see, this is the thing, Kane Town. It all depends on if, you know, we sign Devin White for a certain amount of paper, bro. I don't want to go out there and sign a guy who has that first round pedigree because he's going to be expecting more money and we have to still develop him. Well, Robert Spillane, Robert Spillane was like a throw in, bro. He was a guy that we targeted. You know, and he was a guy who made a rare turnaround that we got to see whether or not it, it continues and sustains next year. If I'm being honest, man. You can't always compare everybody to Robert Spillane. 
Like Robert Spillane, that's a rare case, man. That's a rare case. Now, a lot of people are saying that Devin White is ass. Graphic Raider himself has said that Devin White is ass. And I'm going to tell you something, Graph. I don't really disagree. I don't think Devin White is ass. I don't think Devin White is a guy that I'm willing to go out there and spend crazy money on. Like I said, man, the name is bigger than the game at this point. The name is bigger than the game. Now, Devin White being brought in with all the talent that he has, if if you can get him on the cheap, bring him in and pair him with the linebacker who we already have, I think that's a win-win for the Raiders. I don't think he's asked to where I wouldn't want to bring him in. I just think it's a certain it's a certain amount of money I'm looking at. And it's a lot less than he's probably asking for. My brother, Big Mike, congrats on 11K, Big Bro. Appreciate you, Big Mike. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all, man. The fly, wonderful Latina Griffin, man. You know, I've been here day one. So proud of you. Thank you, Latina Griffin. You definitely have been here since day one, man. Appreciate you so, so much. So, so much, man. Bat Raiders in the place. Congratulations. <laughs> they said, fuck crap. Y'all crazy. That's my dog, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Draft Joe Alt <clears throat> or Aramis Mims. Sign Zach Moss. Sign Kendall Fuller. Kendall Fuller's still out there, man. Draft the halfback and let Aiden Cook. Um, I think Zach Moss. Didn't Zach Moss go to the, the, the Cincinnati Bengals? I think I think Zach Moss went to the to the Cincinnati Bengals, man. If I'm not, I, I gotta look, man. I gotta look, man. Bro, this is how it's gonna go. Coach AP really likes Teron Arnold. If we don't get a QB in the first round, you take it to Ron Arnold, you're grabbing Spencer Rattler in the second. Look. I would love for the Raiders to grab Spencer Rattler. I would love that. I would love that. There's no inclination that that's going to happen, but I would love that, man. <clears throat> man, wasted talent 408. Wasted is depressed because AOC is the man. Huh, the, nobody. Get that F out of here. Shut your lame ass up, man. man shut your lame ass up, man. The F you talking about. Got a damn impersonation account. Oh, Wasted Town 408. He goes, Wasted ain't no Raider fan. Oh, we got to troll everybody. Not an effing troll. <clears throat> we got an effing troll in here. We got somebody who wants to be unceremoniously blocked. We got a troll in here, goddammit. Blocked. The F out of here. F and bum. The F out of my chat. I was just yawning. You just woke me up, you F and bum. The F out of here. Wasted, how do you feel about the tight end room right now? I think, if I'm being honest, we need another tight end. Um, I like Michael May, right? But I, I think we need, we need another tight end that can block. I, you know, I, I I would prefer to see us go out there, you know, maybe another dual threat tight end that can catch and block. But I would love to see us go out there to, to bring another tight end. I, I I think, you know, Jesper Horstead is good. He's a receiving tight end. He's not the greatest blocker in the world. Michael Mayer looks like he can be a budding superstar. But I'm going to be real with you, man. I would like to look, look, you can never have enough tight ends in today's football, especially guys who you can put on the field and block, man. My guy, T. Severe. Devin White is the Justin Fields of linebackers. Only difference is that Devin White has actually produced at a high level previously. And that's a fact. T, I can't. Yo, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't be mad at you. I can't be mad at you with that assessment, yo. He he is. He's a guy that has a lot of talent, but he has a huge, huge hole in his game. Now, if he comes to the Raiders, listen, you get Devin White for six, seven million dollars a year. I'm not mad at that. because there, we have enough talented people on this defense and enough talented people on this defensive staff to be able to put Devin White in the best situation possible for his skill set. The only problem is, is that I'm not trying to pay premium money for a guy that has a, a huge gaping hole in his game, bro. Yeah, man. Wait, hold on. My guy, Deontay Wilder. Congrats on 11K. Get off my lawn, my dog. Richard Dusuk, 
gifted five Raider Nation Unlimited memberships. Added to the Wasted Talent Army as usual, man. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Graf said he blocked him already. Oh, thank you, Graf. Appreciate you. Get the F out of here. Yo, listen, that's right, Rudy the Vet. Unceremoniously blocked the effing trolls in here. Get the F out of here. Effing bum. <laughs> Yo, my guy. All boy Raiders, man. Congrats on 11K. Doing my best to try to catch up to you and Graphic. Also, I'm rolling with O'Connell. Hey, man, I ain't mad at that, bro. Shout out to you, all the boy Raiders, man. Good luck. Enjoy the challenge, man. Enjoy the journey, bro. The boss, JB99, man. Wasted. You sound like you got that COVID, bro. F it. <laughs> the CBEs are deep. <coughs> Draft um day one starters. Let's go get one. Now, I don't think I got the vid, bro. I'm just congested, man. I don't think I got the vid, though, man. Maybe I'm going to go get checked out. Go see, man. Waste it. Would you rather grab Penix in round one than go um, O-line back to back round two or three? Yeah, I would rather – look, man, if if I if I had a guy that I felt like could be a cornerstone in this franchise, quarterback is the most important position on the field, bro. I, I'm going QB. If I'm being honest, I'm being QB, and I'm willing to move up. But Penix or J.J. McCarthy, I'm willing to move up. I am, man. I'm telling you right now. Yo, my guy, Shane Neto. What up, Supreme? I'm going to need an answer – on the Insta by the night. I got you, Shane. Shane, I got you. Yo, and happy trails to Wasted 408, man. The troll account. Appreciate you, man. Yo, thank you, Graf. Appreciate you, my brother. Thank you for pulling up, man. Thank you for holding it down in the chat for your brother, man. Appreciate you, dog. He said, Irva Hunter, wait, so you got to change your name. You supreme talent now. <laughs> y'all try to get, look, I can't be running around calling myself supreme. Y'all don't want no smoke, yo. <laughs> y'all bugging. Biggest need besides QB. I think our biggest need is offensive line, bro. Right tackle, right guard. The right side offensive line besides, that's our biggest need at this point. We went out there, we addressed the middle of the defense when it comes to defense tackle. But it's definitely offensive guard and right offensive tackle. It's our biggest need, if you're asking me. Angel never read. Wasted, what's good? Show yesterday when Han doing graphic fire. Salute to you, brother, and the Raider Nation family. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. William Marchand. Now, William Marchand is thinking that. Let's get back to Devin White. With our front four, Devin White and Wasted Town would thrive in his defense. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Kane Town Raider. Don't get cute. Don't get ceremonious unblocked. Do not get blocked, Kane Town. You gelatinous bastard, you. <laughs> ah, crazy, man. So Minshew was our new leader. Who was the Raider commander? Cheers to you and your family. Joseph Allen, no, nah, Minshew is not our leader. He's a guy that's going to push for that job, though. And he's a guy that can actually push our young quarterback, man. I'm telling you right now, man. Don't sleep on his eight. Don't, don't sleep on Gardner Minshew being here, man. Wasted. Y'all not mentioned that Mike Caldwell, our linebacker coach, was coaching up Devin White when he was producing at a high level. See, now, Tork, that is, that is a caveat that I didn't even think about, brother. Shout out to you for that, man. Shout out to you for that, bro. And yo, look, man, I don't have no problem with it, man. Bro, hey, listen, guys that have produced at an elite level, this is just my, you know, my opinion on that. Bring them in. Let's see if we can get them back to that level. That has always been the Raider way. Bring them in, man. Bring them in. What do you think about getting Fields added to Minshew and AOC? Even if the plan is to move up in the draft, one of them could be packaged in a deal. If we can't move up, we will have all three battle it out. Now, see, bro, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. <clears throat> I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, yo. Yeah, I'm almost choked on that water. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I I, I want to have 
a clear and concise method for how we're going to improve this quarterback position. If it's drafting somebody, then put all your energy in, into scouting and drafting somebody. But if it's Justin Fields, then go get him and stand behind your decision. But I don't want this wishy-washy waffling stuff. I don't want that at all, man. <laughs> My guy, you're wasted. What's that smell? Dookie, name that movie. That is the movie with Hulk Hogan and Zeus. No holds barred. That is what that's from No Holds Barred, the movie with Hulk Hogan. Thank you. Thank you. Applaud me, everybody. You will never get one over on the great waste of talent. <laughs> Devin Smith said, I'd rather eat a shit sandwich. Oh man. Oh, what the F is wrong with you? The F is wrong with you, man. A shit. Wow. What the F is wrong with you, Devin Smith? Nasty work in these streets, man. What the F is wrong with you, man? <laughs> you tweaking, bro. Tweaking, bro. F and tweaking, bro. <laughs> he goes, yup. That's it, my dude. You the shit, bro. <laughs> Shout out to y'all, man. Who? Who would you want in the draft at running back or what round? Listen, if I'm going to draft a running back, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to start drafting a running back until probably about the third round. And it all depends on what we we, what we do in this offseason, right? So we're not going running back. We're drafting a running back. For me to go and draft a guy, and guys, bear with me. I'm having a little problem with my lungs and stuff like that. But for me to go and draft a guy, we would have had to bring in an offensive lineman in free agency first. You know what I mean? If we bring in an offensive lineman in free agency, then I can allocate one of the first three picks to maybe drafting the talented running back right now. There are a lot of guys out there, man, that, you know, I would take a flyer. Now, Blake Corum is a guy I like out of Michigan, but Blake Corum is a small guy. You know what I'm saying? The kid from Texas, I like him too. You know what I'm saying? That kid from Texas, um, um, Estimi from freaking uh, Notre Dame is a guy that I really, really, really like, man. You know, Audrey Estimi. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's a guy to Notre Dame, man. You know, I'm a Notre Dame guy. I really like him, man. Really like him, man. My guy, Thor's up in the place. Bro, you need a hottie toddy to clear your sinuses up. Yeah, damn, man. Yo, Frank Gore Jr. is another kid, man. Frank Gore Jr. But so Frank Gore Jr. is a guy I'm not really taking the flyer into the fourth round, yo. I definitely do, Thor. <clears throat> mm, 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 mm. I mean, that's why I've been cutting these shows short, y'all. Your boy Wasted is struggling. I'm fighting for my life over here, y'all. And Ray Davis. Y'all know how I feel about Ray Davis. Ray Davis will probably be the first guy that I would take. Ray Davis reminds me of, he reminds me a lot of Josh Jacobs, to be honest with you. I, I Listen, I love, I love Ray Davis. Ray Davis is the first guy I'm taking, man. Ray Davis, definitely, y'all. Uh, Tory for 30. Brissett for 8 million to New England sounds better than Michigan for 15 million guaranteed. That's in two years, though, bro. Tory for 30. I think you need to go back and look at that. And I think Gardner Minshew is playing at a better level than Jacoby Brissett right there, man. I'll be 100% real with you. My guy, Joseph Allen, I'll talk to you in September. ALC will be our star in QB. Cheers. That's my personal opinion. Bro, listen, right now it's his job. I wouldn't be shocked if, 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 if he was a guy that was starting. I would not be shocked. But do I want them to see, to do everything they can to improve that position? I want them to do everything they can to improve that position every single year until we're sure we got a guy who's our guy. Until we're freaking sure. 
Or Gonzalez wasted. Do you think we're going to get anyone else in free agency? If so, then who? It, it's it's hard to tell because, you know, the the you know everything is 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 so up in the air right now for the Raiders, man. I think we're definitely going to we we're, we have to make some more moves, man. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. Maybe a Kendall Fuller, you know, going out there now that we don't have an Amik Robertson, a Dory Jackson Jr. is a guy that I would like to see them sign. You know, Hondo was against it. I, I like a Dory Jackson Jr. You know what I mean? Maybe going and beefing up the line some more, getting a DJ Reader. I, I, yo, my, my mind is open, bro. My mind is very, very open. Listen, this is the second day of free agency, bro. And it's hard to kind of tell which way the Raiders are going to go because this is a new regime. And you don't know whether they value some of these holes to be filled by draft picks. Willie Gay is off the board. Willie Gay is off the board, yo. And, yes, we are not done yet. We are not satisfied. Shout out to Yvette Niles, yo. Yo, I just can't get over AOC's mustache and haircut. Between him and Minshew, they both need some work. Yo, man, I don't care what haircut or what mustache they have as long as they can play well, man. Hondo keep telling us we're not done yet. Something major is brewing. McBurger, something definitely major is brewing, yo. Let me tell y'all something. Supreme, not wasting talent. Great show last night with Hondo. Would you still want want one to draft? Yes, I would I would love to. Look, I'm the kind of guy I feel like you should draft a quarterback every single year till you get that superstar. That's me. That's me. Trini Decker, what is the deal, yo? I think the Raiders are going to make another splash because Jimmy G being cut tomorrow. Who do you think the next guy will be if you had to go with your gut? I think the next guy is going to be a trade. I don't think it's going to be a free agent signing. Look, I told y'all already, I think the Raiders are going to take a flyer on Jair Alexander. I really, really do. And I don't I don't like putting that out there because it's a gut feeling. I, I didn't get any inside knowledge. I'm not going to come on here and cap and say that I heard and all this other stuff. I think it's Jair Alexander. I really, really do. I really, really do, man. Cutting Jimmy opens up eleven million. Hoyer and Tillery adds thirteen million. Isn't that the protection pay price of Fuller? Yes. And the thing is, if you cut Hunter Renfro, that'll get you around almost twenty million dollars, bro. Justice Simmons would be great, right? But the thing about our, our safety room, we got Chris Smith, you know what I mean? You got Trayvon Merring, Marcus Epps. Safety is the least of our worries right now, if I'm being honest. But I'm telling you, I'm thinking it's going to be a cornerback, man. Thinking it's going to be a cornerback, yo. I'm be honest with you, man. But yeah, y'all, look, Makai backed in on a one-year deal. That would be nice, too. Go out there and beef up the line. Now, shout out to Amik Robertson went to the Detroit Lions, bro. Shout out to Amik Robertson, y'all. Marshawn Lattimore, another guy. That's another guy, too. It's another guy, too. Now, Marshawn Lattimore, based off of what Hondo was saying, is a guy that's from a team that is cash, that is cash strapped. But I think with the Saints, it's kind of rough to deal with them because with the Saints, they've always played games with their cap so well. Marshawn Lattimore is a major part of what they do there. They don't feel like they're out of it. They're trying to compete for a Super Bowl. So I can't really see them getting rid of Marshawn Lattimore. You know what I mean? Like they're trying to keep that whole situation together over there. But I'm telling you, I think it's Jair Alexander, bro. Where's Shadow Fox for all the inside knowledge? I don't know, Rudy. He's hiding. Shadow Fox, where or where are you? Save us, Shadow Fox. Look, and yo, when y'all say, you know, Jair, Jair is kind of out of the blue, y'all must have heard a name. Listen, Heat Check, you got to chill, bro. But chill. Don't be pulling my car like that, Heat Check. <laughs> Shout out to Heat Check, yo. Lativarian Savage. Doom is pleased with the direction that the Raiders are taking. Congrats on 11K. Keep doing it. 
And can I get an FKC? Yo, it's always FKC, man. <laughs> Damn, my, my, my man Heat Check up here pulling people cards, man. Damn. F Heat Check. <laughs> My guy, heat check, man. Why is everyone talking right tackle when we got an up and coming right tackle who started games for us and got better? Bro, the thing about, you know, Thayer Mumford is Thayer Mumford actually played better at left tackle, which is crazy. Look, I, look, man, I'm always about bringing in competition at the tackles because it is a war of attrition in the National Football League. The reason why. You know, our line has looked pretty good over the last few years. It's because we've had the bodies. We've had the bodies. You can't go out there after losing Jermaine Illuminor and not replace a guy, replace him with a guy. You can't. And then the thing about their Mumford is their Mumford could also play guard. So if you go out there and say, if it's you get him a cop back, put him at right tackle. Let him cook. I mean, let him cook for real. And then you put Mumford at guard, which, you know, because Mumford's a guy who's played all up and down the offensive line in college and in the National Football League. And it's always good to have extra linemen, man. How about Kendall Fuller? Yes, I, bro, I think Kendall Fuller would be excellent for us. Love Kendall Fuller. Raider Rebel Unleashed is a new member. Wasted. Welcome to the Wasted Talent Army. Welcome. Now nah, he's not going to beat out um, Colt Miller. He's definitely not, and that's the thing, right? That's the thing. I mean, he's a good kid to keep around because he's an option for you if you decide in your infinite wisdom to move on from Colt Miller next year. My guy, Brandon Parker, played better left tackle too. Some guys just don't have the coordination of footwork and hand placement on both sides. Nah, man. Nah, man, it, like they say, a lot of guys say that it's totally, totally different. You know what I mean? Like, well, Mumford, I'm I'm just surprised because he played right, left, and guard in college. I was just surprised at how, how, how much better he played at left tackle in the NFL. They say that about Brandon Parker, but every time I see Brandon Parker play left tackle in the National Football League, he gets dominated, man. To Justin fucking Fields, stop wasting time. Shady Raider, listen, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. Justin Fields is not the key to our salvation, really, bro. Justin Fields is, to me, Justin Fields is just as big of a question mark as Aiden O'Connell. He's just a better athlete. Would I like to see us bring him in and bring that competition in? Yeah, but Justin Fields is a question mark, too. I would prefer for us to draft somebody, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Grizz Moreno, if if we draft a lefty Penix, do you think we move Colt Miller to right to protect the block side? No, Grizz, because Colt Miller has not played right tackle since he was at UCLA. And Colt Miller knows his bread is buttered being a left tackle. So I would think if you do draft a Michael Penix Jr., he's your guy, you got to go out there and do the best you can to get the best right tackle possible. Yeah, not a big Justin Field fan at all. Christian Steele, look, I'm a I'm a I'm a fan of the talent, but I don't have a hundred percent faith that Justin Fields is gonna come and turn his career around and be this world beater at quarterback. Like I I am a guy who likes my quarterbacks to be able to throw the football and be accurate. They don't have to throw it a mile, they don't gotta be all dynamic and run all over the place. Because when you got a quarterback that runs all over the place, that's a guy that you know is one hit away from missing the rest of the season. One hit away, man. Fields is very, very inaccurate, man. Very inaccurate. Scott Tucker with the breaking news. Scott, I got to look at this myself. Patrick Mahomes restructuring his contract in the $22 million in cap space for the Chiefs per Adam Schefter. Listen, thank God for them. But F them. F Patrick Mahomes and F the Queefs. Just ruin my day. I don't want to see them do anything good, man. F Patrick Mahomes, man. Devastator. 
I trust O'Connor shit more than Fields, yo. I do too, man. And and that's true, Ron Justice. It is super hard to block for a quarterback that runs around a lot. It is. The one thing about us is we're switching to the zone blocking game. So you're gonna have some linemen that are a lot quicker, they can get downfield a lot better. Maybe that'll help. But it, it is, man. It is. When that pocket breaks down, and then what you got to realize is the rules change for a running quarterback. Once that running quarterback takes off and gets into the secondary, he's now a running back now. Now he can get teed off on a hit. If you look at the way that Cam Newton played, Cam Newton was the archetype of that big athletic quarterback. And you see his career got short, shortened from getting getting crushed, man. It got crushed, man. I don't. I'm telling. Be honest with you, man. I I don't really want that. I don't really want that. If you if you're asking me, I really, I really don't want that, bro. I I don't want an athlete that's masquerading as a quarterback. But hold on, I got a good one, and I, then I'm gonna get out of here, y'all. Cause I'm feeling a little. Like the last two days, y'all, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. Yeah, I'll be very transparent with y'all. I haven't been feeling the best the last two days, man. You know, I'm not feeling great right now. I'm going to go take a breathing treatment. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to lay my ass down. I haven't gone to the gym or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I went to work today, you know, was in the office all day at work. I didn't have to go out. And um, I'm not really feeling the best, y'all. I, I, yeah, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. This is an exciting time for Raider Nation. I could not leave y'all. Without that content, man. But if I'm being honest, man, I am struggling, y'all. That's why I'm all over the place, man. But I appreciate y'all for the 1,400 of y'all in the room that's that's been here standing room only, man. I, I really, really appreciate y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the show today, man. But, yo, I'm going to tell y'all something. It's going to get even greater, man. I'm from NorCal, watch high school football, X-Raider Eddie Vanderdoss, who would own Colton Miller. That being said, Eddie is out of the league. And Eddie Vanderdoss, man. Shout out to Eddie Vanderdoss, man. Happy trails, man. T. Severe. The Bears are trying to ship Fields away, and nobody wants him. ATL chose to give a 35-year-old $100 million coming off an injury over bringing in Fields. The league is saying what they think of him. T. Severe, my God, with the haymaker, yo. That was a freaking... Oh, my God, a haymaker. A haymaker, man. First right tackle, then QB in the draft, yo. Rudy Vet Russo. Get better, Wasted. Let's see what tomorrow brings. That's a fact, man. McVerga, much love to you, Wasted. Great show last night. Great show today, man. Thank y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Man, I appreciate all of y'all, man. Thank y'all, man. I'm definitely going to get better, man. I'm cool, man. I'm cool, man. But y'all can hear it in my voice. I'm not really feeling the best. I'm like sweating and shit, man. So look, y'all. Look, we're going to end this show. we bringing this thing into the train station. I'm going to go get some rest, get some vitamin C, man. Appreciate y'all. We're going to be back at it tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm feeling 100%, and we're going to be back at it. Hopefully, I got some more news to, to, to freaking bring y'all. But y'all know my corny ass every night. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Price done went up. We about to cut some players. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. It is always, always great to see all of y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good night, man. We are out of here, man. Peace.